اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم The next step in robustness checks is assessing the endogeneity. And we want to assess whether there are issues of endogeneity in our model or not. And to do so, we are going to use a Gaussian copula. Now what we do is we click here on the Gaussian copula and you get these little rectangles or small boxes that say click. Now the procedure is that you start with individual relationships. Now each of that individual relationship is checked for endogeneity. Now once each of the relationship is checked, then you start checking the combination of relationships. So I start with one relationship, then I move to two relationships, then I move to three relationships, then I move to four relationships, howsoever the number is in, in, in your model. Now how to do, the, do this with this complex model? So what we can do is individual relationships, so just one. Save it. Now calculate bootstrapping. Now for now, I'm just going to keep it 1000. Normal recommendation is 10,000. I'm going to do a quicker one and let's start. Now in this case, Let's go to path coefficients and this is insignificant. What you need to do is you need to copy this row into Excel. So here I do not need these. Delete and here it is. Now GC com arrow TL. What does it mean? This is your exogenous variable. TL is your endogenous variable and this is the Gaussian copula. Now, next, I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to add it to the other relationship. Let's say this one. And now I'm going to run it again. Bootstrapping. And you can do one tailed if you want. Let's say start because I know the possible direction of relationships. So it's too better to use one tailed. Now again, go to path coefficients and this one is significant. So you've got endogeneity issues here. Now, how to solve them? And that is part of another video. We are going to discuss it later. Now, this one is done. Now you're going to remove this. Obviously, you will copy the results from the output into Excel so that you can have a final picture as to what are the problems or where are the problems now when you do single ones the next step is to do a combination so let's say this with this so now we are doing two copulas or two relationships are assessed for endogeneity again run it calculate bootstrapping now go to path coefficients so here the same old relationship with problems and this one is no or has no problems go back now you've done this one with this one now again what you're going to do is delete this one and now Gaussian copula so previously I did com the combination of this relationship from commitment to leadership and leadership to reliability now I'm going to do this the other relationship now this is the next combination now similarly you're going to do this with every other possible relationship now once you are done with two relationships or the combination of two relationships, then you are going to move to combination of three relationships and similarly you are going to move to combination of four relationships so all possible relationships are assessed for endogeneity and once you do that you will have something like this in a table and this is the paper I'll share the link as well structural model robustness checks in PLS SCM and if you look at this table here, so in this case, assessment of endogeneity test using Gaussian copula approach. And in this case, the copula was on just one relationship. Again, one relationship, again, one relationship. Now, once they were done with single relationships, they had it for two relationships. 
now once they were done with two relationships now here they are done with two relationships next they had it for three relationships and where is the model here is the model that they applied the endogeneity tests on so you assess it for single relationship all single relationships then combination of relationships so all possible combination of relationship and then obviously two relationships three relationships four relationships and if your p-values are over 0 0.05 this means that there is no issue of endogeneity and this is the second step in assessing the robustness checks or testing your model for robustness i hope this session would have helped you understand how to use gaussian copula in smart pls to assess the endogeneity in the next session we are going to look into the last part of it that is heterogeneity thank you very much